Okay, today we're going to be testing two often asked questions about vacuum chambers in water. The first one is, does a vacuum chamber float in water or does it sink? And second, what happens if you were to open a vacuum chamber underwater? So we're gonna be tackling both of these questions today and test out my vacuum chamber in water. And I'm also really excited today because I have a special announcement. And the surprise is... The Action Lab subscription box. So if you haven't heard yet, I've teamed up with the creators of the Vsauce Curiosity box, and we've been working hard on this box for the last eight months. And finally, the day has come that you can sign up for the Action Lab subscription box. And what's going to be in the very first subscription box? You'll have to wait and see. Well, actually, I'll just tell you. Well, because I've done so many experiments around the vacuum chamber and everybody loves the vacuum chamber and the experiments, I decided to make the very first box a vacuum chamber box. So you're going to be getting your very own mini vacuum chamber. So you'll receive the vacuum chamber, the pump for it, and also several experiments that you can do in your vacuum chamber. So many of the vacuum chamber experiments you've seen me do, you can now do on your own if you subscribe to the Action Lab subscription box. So the subscription boxes are going to be shipped out quarterly. And what you'll get in every box is a set of awesome experiments that are based on experiments that I've done or will do on my channel. And also along with the experiments, you're also gonna get cool Action Lab swag. You'll get t-shirts, you'll get lab equipment, goggles, stickers, anything that you can think of that makes your house become an Action Lab. So the first box is going to be available in limited quantity. So if you want the Action Lab box, click on the link in my description and you can sign up now to receive it. So if you're going to subscribe, now is the time to do it. Click the link in the description to head over there right now and subscribe. Then you can come back and watch my video. Now let's check out what happens to a vacuum chamber in water. And hey, you can even do this same experiment when you get your very own vacuum chamber in your first subscription box. Okay, let's get it vacuumed out. Three, two, one. Okay, we're at full vacuum. Let's go ahead and see if it floats, and then let's open it up under the water. Okay, does a vacuum chamber float? Three, two, one. <laughs> it definitely floats. <laughs> So I don't quite understand why people would think that the vacuum chamber would sink when it's under vacuum, because actually it's even more buoyant now than when it had air in it, because you don't have the weight of the air pressing down, so it floats even higher than it would with air. But since air has very little mass, it's not that much of a difference when it's under a vacuum versus when there's air in it. Floating vacuum chamber. Okay, so we should be able to get a good view underwater with the GoPro. Okay, let's get it sinking. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Three, two, one. <laughs> But the pressure isn't going up at all. See the pressure? Still a low vacuum. I'll let you think about why that is. So you can see there's no air bubbles coming out of this, but we're just filling up the volume. Whoa. Sucks in my finger. <laughs> well, there's like strong pressure waves shaking the whole vacuum chamber. So it's interesting, the bubbles that you see in there are not actually air bubbles. It looks like it's shooting in making air bubbles, but it's actually nothing bubbles. I mean, there's a little bit of air in there, but it's pretty much, these are bubbles of vacuum. Okay, so you can see it's completely filled up now. There is a little air bubble up top here. So essentially this is how much air was left in the chamber 
when it was under vacuum. So what was interesting about that is it could fill up with water without letting any air bubbles out. So let's see what happens when we put it under water and there's still air in it. So it can fill up a little bit with water, basically because it's under the water and there's higher pressure under the water so it can pressurize the chamber a little bit. So now in order to let water in, I have to let air out. So it's a lot harder to fill up a closed box when it's not a vacuum. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Again, if you want to join the Action Lab subscription box, click the link in my description now. Now is the time you can click it and leave this video. Go check it out, go subscribe right now. It'll be awesome. And thanks for watching, and if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.